Good evening, friends, fiends, and night owl supremes. Welcome to A Bit Late, where tonight we're getting on the emotional side of foliage. <laughs> and maybe we'll find some humanity in it too. It's that time of year when things are changing and it gets kind of emotional because everything's so ephemeral. Tonight I have a few short stories for you and a few poems too. Do you struggle with anxiety? So does this leaf. But don't worry, the trees in all of these tales are so kind and protective. So, do get settled, get comfy and cozy, summon your familiars, light your candles, ensconce yourself in pillows and blankets, and follow me into tonight's first story, The Anxious Leaf. Once upon a time, a little leaf was heard to sigh and cry, as leaves often do when a gentle wind is about. And the twig said, What is the matter, little leaf? And the leaf said, The wind just told me that one day it will pull me off and throw me down to lie on the ground. What? Thanks, wind? Jeez. The twig told it to the branch on which it grew, and the branch told it to the tree. And when the tree heard it, it rustled all over and sent back word to the leaf, Do not be afraid. Hold on tightly, and you shall not go till you want to. Oh, thanks, tree. And so the leaf stopped sighing, but it went on nestling and singing every time the tree shook itself and stirred up all its leaves. The branches shook themselves, and the little twig shook itself, and the little leaf danced up and down merrily, as if nothing could ever pull it off. And so it grew all summer long until October. And when the bright days of autumn came, the little leaf saw all the leaves around becoming very beautiful. Some were yellow, and some were scarlet, and some were striped with both colors. Then it asked the tree what it meant, and the tree said, All the leaves are getting ready to fly away, and they have put on these beautiful colors because of joy. Then the little leaf began to want to go, and grew very beautiful in thinking of it. And when it was bright in color, it saw that the branches of the tree had no color in them. And so the leaf said, Oh, branches, why are you lead color and we golden? We must keep on our work clothes, for our life is not done. But your clothes are for a holiday, because your tasks are over. Oh, so sad and sweet. Just then, a little puff of wind came, and the leaf let go without thinking of it. And the wind took it up and turned it over and over, and whirled it like a spark of fire in the air. And then it fell gently down under the fence among hundreds of other leaves and began to dream, a dream so beautiful that perhaps it will last forever. The End of the Anxious Leaf It's so sad, but so sweet. Hold on as long as you want to, and let go when it's time to. I do appreciate the branches keeping on their work clothes and the leaves get their holiday outfits on because their job's done. So sweet, so sad, so simple. Next we have The Merry Wind, a short little poem, but it was relevant in the last story. The merry wind came racing adown the hills one day, in gleeful frolic chasing the rustling leaves away. In clouds of red and yellow, he whirled the leaves along, and then the jolly fellow, he sang a cheery song. The merry wind was weary, at last of fun and play. His voice grew faint and eerie, and softly died away. Far off a crow was calling, and in the mellow sun, the painted leaves kept falling, and fading one by one. Not everything is so sad and ephemeral in Autumn World. Some things endure to the next season, like in this next story. The Kind Old Oak It was almost time for winter to come. The little birds had gone far away, for they were afraid of the cold. There was no green grass in the field, and there were no pretty flowers in the gardens. Many of the trees had dropped all their leaves. Cold winter, with its snow and ice, was coming. At the foot of an old oak tree, some sweet little violets were still in blossom. Dear old oak, they said, winter is coming. We are afraid we shall die of the cold. And yeah, I'm worried for you too. Do not be afraid, little one, said the oak. Close your yellow eyes and sleep, and trust to me. 
you have made me glad a many time with your sweetness. Now I will take care that the winter shall do you no harm. So the violets closed their pretty eyes and went to sleep. They knew that they could trust the kind old oak, and the great tree softly dropped red leaf after red leaf upon them until they were all covered over. The cold winter came with its snow and ice, but it could not harm the little violets. Safe under the friendly leaves of the old oak they slept, and dreamed happy dreams until the warm rains of spring came and waked them again. No more the summer floret charms, the leaves will soon be sere, and autumn folds his jeweled arms around the dying year. But before you drift off into dreamland, I have some really great news. If you want to listen or watch all of these stories without ads interrupting your calm time, I've uploaded all of them on Nebula, along with my Main Abit Frank channel videos too. You can listen to everything there earlier than you can on here. And because Nebula has an app, you can take these stories with you into sleep or wherever you go. Check out the links in the description for 40% off annual memberships. And right now, Nebula is doing lifetime memberships as well, and the ability to gift them now through December. If this is your jam, it really does help support me as a creator and both of my channels. Thank you so much. And for now, off to sleep and dream what you will or stay a while and enjoy another tale. Whichever you choose, I'll speak to you again. And until then, stay spooky, my friends. Good night.